My name is Bentley Kyle Evans, and you are watching Studio Q. Studio Q Show. It, it feels really good, but it just feels natural. It's like one of those things where um, I've been doing it for a long time, mm -hmm. and it's the only thing in my life that I ever really wanted to do it's from the time I was about 18 years old. So to get in and create another show, it almost just feels like it's just kind of like it's the next thing to do. And um, you know, I, I like creating characters that are very realistic mm -hmm. and very um, that that resemble characters that are really in my own family and in my own social network. So right. it feels good. It feels like, um, you know, it's, 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 not, it's not work. It's, it's play every day. I can't necessarily say that it's necessarily me that makes that happen. I think that it's just that I have an eye for being able to find great talent mm -hmm. uh, and be able to uh, pull out that that uh, that realness, but also have you know have fun with these characters. It's like you know with with family time, it's somewhat autobiographical because yeah. it's like some of the characters, the characteristics come from different people in my family. I mean, my my life for real is a reality show. If you own you know, every day of my house, it's like ding dong about eight o'clock in the morning. It's like, who's that? Here comes the adventure. We don't know what's gonna happen. I'm talking about brothers, sisters, wow. sister-in-laws, cousins, nephews. Everybody's showing up. I mean, I got, I got such a diverse family and so to be able to bring those things into this particular show mm -hmm. was what I wanted to do. See, it's like, you know, I have a, a wife and two kids, right? But it's not about my four, the four that live in my house, it's about the ancillary characters that are always coming in. You got somebody always in the refrigerator, you got a niece that's coming over with her problems and she done broke up with her man. I, it's just drama, uh -huh. but it's fun, you know? Yeah. And it's like sometimes you don't want to deal with it, but then you wake up and you go, here, here we go with this adventure. No, that's what this show is about. Mm -hmm. It's not about the, the four. It's about all of the baggage that everybody brings from their different sides of the family. And believe me, we got baggage. You know, they're like the hottest selling, you know, the highest selling uh, female rap group of all time, right? So it's like, for me to be working with them, it's, it's like somewhat, I'm somewhat of a groupie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like this, I'm trying to be cool with them, like, oh, so, so, you know, I'm going to need you to go over here. And at the same time, I'm going, that's all I'm ever, right? But I, I wanted to work with, you know, the greats. It's like, I got a chance to work with Biggie Smalls. I got a chance to work with Snoop Dogg, uh, Tyrese, Brian McKnight. I mean, so many Richard Pryor people came through the Martin show and I just want to keep that legacy going to be able to work with different greats and salt and pepper are, are great so when I got the opportunity to call that they were interested in coming and doing something for us I was like this how much is it gonna cost let's get them here send them them tickets let's get them out here and so we came up with a fun episode with Paula J Parker who's one of our you know one of our uh, uh, main characters on the show and she was a part of the salt and pepper group so it's fun Oh, you know, you get to really, you know, sometimes like, you guys go over there, you guys go over there, you know, you better know your lives. <laughs> right, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, this. Uh -huh. but it's, it's good. It's a, yeah. it's a good learning experience. And the most important part is they're all here with me, so I know everybody's safe. I don't have to worry. Stupid.